Shares of several cruise line companies are tanking right now and they're losing a lot of steam in the market because of the reports that Carnival Cruise Line will cut or not renew the contracts of several thousand employees. This will have major implications not only on the cruise line industry but the travel industry overall. Stay tuned, I'm gonna dissect all of that including the three top cruise line stocks coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to our channel or seeing one of our videos, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so that you can get an update every time we post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. So today I want to provide you with a quick breakdown of three stocks in the cruise line industry. We're going to look at Carnival, we're going to look at Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. And I'm going to give you my insight on all three of these stocks from a technical standpoint, as well as a fundamental standpoint, given where we are in our society, in our economy as of right now. Carnival Cruise Lines is currently trading under $14.50 at the time of this recording. This stock is currently trading below its support level, which is roughly 1510 on the short term 20 day chart that you can see here. The relative strength of this chart, or I should say the relative strength index on this chart is pointing towards a floor being put in place at the stock price at this level. Now this is just for this short term chart. When we look at the next chart, which is the one year chart, the long term chart, the relative strength index advises that the current trend of this stock is approaching its lower bound support level, which is near $12.35. This is the level that was set back on April the 17th and supported on May the 14th with that second dip there. Where Carnival is really, really hurting and the reason they are laying off over a thousand people, or I should say several thousand people, is because of their fundamental statistics and not technical statistics. The company has seen an increase of 11.5% in its long-term debt year over year. Conroe has also realized a significant decrease in two key financial ratios. The quick ratio and the current ratios are currently standing at 0.1 and 0.69 respectively. Now I'm explaining to you what that means. So this means essentially on the quick ratio standpoint, that Carnival only has enough cash on its books to take care of 10% of its current liabilities. That is not good at all. From a current ratio standpoint, it has roughly the ability to take care of 70% of its current liabilities going forward. Now, that takes into consideration on the current ratio, non-liquid assets such as inventory. So if the company had to go through and sell off inventory, sell off some of its boats, um, sell off some of its other assets, um, they would be able to use the cash generated from those sales to take care of 70% of its current liabilities, not long-term debt, but current debt, its current liabilities, its monthly obligations. This is a very, very dire situation for a carnival. And this is one of the reasons why we've seen such volatility in the stock today. Although the cash position has improved recently, this was only the result of the economic stimulus money received as a result of the current pandemic that we're in right now. There was a significant drop in the Q2 net income as can be expected from the current pandemic. So financially, Carnival is not in the best situation. I live in Florida and on a recent trip to the beach, we drove by Cape Canaveral, which typically is booming with activity, but this is not the case as of right now because of COVID-19. So apparently it does not seem like there is any end in sight, at least when it comes to the financial bleeding of Carnival in the next two companies that we're going to talk about, which the next one up is Norwegian Cruise Lines. 
ticker symbol NCLH for Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. So this is a chart over the past year which shows the relative strength index just under 40. The stock is neither overbought nor oversold, but it is trending towards an oversold level. Similar to Carnival, Norwegian saw significant decreases in several financial metrics, including its net income in the most recent quarterly fi filings. Unlike Carnival, Norwegian does have a significantly better financial position. Now, when I say significantly better, it does not mean that it is able to withstand everything that is getting hit with from this pandemic, but it may be able to take care of its financial responsibilities a little bit better when you compare its quick and current ratios to those of Carnival. The next and the last thought that we're going to look at is Royal Caribbean which just like the previous two is not immune to the volatility that, and that is ever so evident by looking at this chart right now and by looking at its performance today. The stock has shown an upward trend since its March 19th low of 1925. However, the stock is currently testing its upper bound band level of 6082. If the stock closes below this level, the next level investors will be watching is that of the 44.98 level or right at $45. That price point is something that was established and tested back on June 15th and we've been able to trend upward since then. If this level is breached, we could see a downward shift um, even further past that $45 level all the way back down towards that low $20 range. When comparing all three companies, it, uh, when comparing all three companies, it appears that Norwegian may be best positioned to weather the choppy waters ahead, given its liquidity position. However, all three companies face significant headwinds, as there is currently no vaccine for the coronavirus, which has sidelined the cruise industry. Going forward, the dividend payments for Royal Caribbean and Carnival may be at risk, which, if suspended will signal further financial uncertainty and will lead to increased volatility for each company going forward. So with this being the case, give me your thoughts. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you're a long-term buyer of the cruise lines right now, if this is a price point in which you're getting back in, or you starting to trim some off. There is some ways to protect your position if you are currently holding these securities right now. Always look at um, purchasing some downside protection in the form of puts. Also look at doing some limit orders on your trades to help protect the capital that you've already invested in all of these securities. And if you have a position in any of these stocks or if you have any questions about your current portfolio and how to protect yourself from any downside volatility that we will see coming forward in the market, please reach out to me directly. I have some strategies that I can help you implement in your portfolio to mitigate a lot of the risk that we're seeing in the market right now. If this is your first time coming to my channel or seeing one of my videos, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so you can get an update each time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. Thank you so much and have a great day.